from a museum. Places you shouldn't be allowed to, like, touch everything, but instead you're using it for everything. Like, it's all functioning it. and available and, like, just real instead of behind glass, which is kind of an unusual experience. I came in expecting a boat trip, maybe we'll pull a couple ropes, it'll have some pretty views, but what I got was really surprised by this feeling that hits you when the wind catches the sail and there's no motor, there's no sound, you just start moving. It feels like magic and it's it captured something in all of us, I think. We're all like, we want to be sailors now! The moment that um, there there is that, that second when the, the wind Oof. feels the sails and, and you feel kind of transported pretty much every time it's still <laughs> it's still like it has not gotten old a, yeah kind of a little rush of like oh what's happening we're going <laughs> uh, i'm most surprised by the food i think is i expected this small boat uh glamping basically level of, of uh, supplies and food but it's not like when i was a boy scout on a tiny little sailing boat as a kid and we ate hot garbage. It, this We have a dedicated chef. If there's three meals a day with recipes, I'm asking her for cards to take home with me. Uh, I feel very spoiled. Spoiled is the word. Yeah. It's not like um, tiny, tiny plates of overly fancy things and then you'd be starving the rest of the day. It's just like delicious, hearty, thoughtful, varied meals three uh, times a day plus <laughs> hors d'oeuvres and there's pre-breakfast. Also this like stuff I've never heard of. We've had, we had a, a breakfast was a North African dish this morning. And then we had uh, a sweet potato black bean concoction she made that was ridiculously good. I'd never heard of any of this stuff. Uh, the fact that the boat has a piano, it rained a little bit earlier. So we just gathered in the, what do you call it? The lounge. Yeah, just had one guy on the piano, singing song. You know, we do a lot of odd things on our vacations, and we try to stay off the beaten path, but the thing is we have to do a lot of work. We gotta plan it and get there and buy a whitewater raft or climbing gear or whatever. Here, we get all the uh, high adventure with none of the effort. It's all provided. It's very pampered, and that's just a, a contrast I don't think I've ever had on a trip. I have to give a warning. If you come on a trip like this, you will not be able to eat lobster at home again. Oh my god. Uh, the, the lobster bake right on the beach that we've been hauling the crates of lobster around the whole time. But I don't know what she did to them. Cooked it in the, the rockweed. Uh, definitely we were, the best know, lobster we I've ever had. Out on the rowboat. You would have? We were out on the rowboat while it was happening. Oh, that's right. Uh, the Grace Bailey may be an annual tradition, uh, though there's three or four events they do throughout the year with the other schooners. There's races. There's a game while they all time up together. Each trip is different, so in video game terms, it has the maximum replay value of a vacation. <laughs> Agreed. Agree. Yeah. <laughs>